It was said no better than by Frederick Douglass, who uh, in his biography talked about how he said, I think the way he put it was between the Christianity of Christ and the Christianity of this land, I recognize the widest possible difference. And he said, there's no good reason except for a deceitful one to call the religion of this land Christianity. And he said, I love the peaceful Christianity of Christ. And so therefore I hate the slave, the slave holding, slave whipping, uh, lynching religion of this land. Because if you love the Christianity of Christ, Frederick Douglass says, you have to hate false Christianities that, that endorse oppression and vice versa. If you love oppressive perversions of Christendom, then that means you hate the Christianity of Jesus Christ. This is what Frederick Douglass said, and I think he put it real well. And as you said, he was born and raised in slavery. So even in the midst of slavery, even in the midst of having a heretical Bible, because the word has something to say about taking or removing words from the Bible. So having a, having a Bible, a so-called slave Bible that strategically removes the, the passages about freedom, and yet the Holy Spirit spoke to the slaves anyway. The Holy Spirit got around white supremacy and spoke to the slaves. And so the slaves sang Negro spirituals about going down and telling Pharaoh, let my people go. So the freedom message in scripture still arrived to God's people anyway. And so how powerful is that to know that the Holy Spirit still spoke to Frederick Douglass and spoke to the slaves and the slave and the Negro spirituals, even in the midst of, in the full kind of fleshing out of the American project of white supremacy in slavery and land theft. And in the middle of all that, Frederick Douglass was still able to nuance and delineate between there's this oppressive Christian Christian church thing that's going on, and that's from the devil. But then there's actually the true gospel of Jesus Christ. So if he could, if the Coptics could understand it in the you know six and seven hundreds, and if Frederick Douglass could understand it in the eighteen hundreds, then that's our encouragement, I think, for us today in the church as we are wrestling with church hurt and and all these kind of things. That yes, I'm not trying to invalidate that. Uh, we need to lament and grieve and prophetically engage. But we just also have to be very clear again about the true gospel of Jesus Christ that leads to justice. And that's what we need to that needs to be our refuge in order to deal with uh, and also to be able to to to, to delineate and, and critique uh, any any kind of heretical expression of the church. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video clip from the Dogato podcast. To get more videos like this, simply subscribe here on YouTube. You can also download the full episode of each show on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or your favorite podcast player. Take care.